Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Tuesday the 8th of October 2019 and today we've produced two videos. The first one was a referral to one of our long-standing Inner Sanctum members who has created his own channel. The gentleman concerned is a US pastor by the name of Richard and he has created a channel for those who are Christian or hold Christian beliefs. We've placed a link in the description box below. Please do support his channel to help get it off the ground. The second video, which is this one, we are addressing what is happening on the trade front with the United States and other countries and briefly look at the rise in gold and silver prices today. So let's investigate. The United States and Japan have agreed a trade deal which focuses mainly on agricultural products. Japan will cut tariffs for $7 billion worth of US farm exports, while Washington will cut US tariffs on $40 million in Japanese agricultural goods and ease tariff rate quotas on the country's beef. This new bilateral deal is more limited in scope and coverage than the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which the United States withdrew from in 2017, as there are a number of categories not included, such as cars and manufacturing equipment. Inserted within this deal, and that also between the US, Mexico and Canada, are legal protections that shield online platforms like Facebook, Twitter and YouTube from lawsuits, a move that could help lock in America's tech-friendly regulations around the world, even as they are being newly questioned at home. We have seen today that Mexican President André Manuel López Obrador vowed to implement union freedoms, higher wages and other labour rights ahead of a meeting with a delegation of US lawmakers with a view to speeding up US ratification of the USMCA trade deal which could and would replace the trillion dollar North American free trade agreement known as NAFTA. On the negative trade front, however, optimism is falling in relation to a deal being struck with China after the US government has begun moving ahead with efforts to limit capital inflows to China plus the inclusion of additional Chinese firms on a trading blacklist or more to the point, a non-trading blacklist. It has also been muted that the trade delegation due to meet later this week in Washington may leave a day early, suggesting that pre-talks talks are not going well. Also, on the economic front, we've seen producer prices fall by 0.3% against a growth expectation of 0.1%. This has disappointed markets, causing the Dow to fall by 130 points to 26,347 and the S&P 500 is down 28 points. Interestingly, the dollar index is back above 99.1 and gold is up over $8 to 1500 and silver is up 23 cents at 1765, though both have been a little higher earlier on. Now we did question in yesterday's video that we expected both gold and silver to be higher by around 1% than they were actually achieving. And it does appear that they've now caught up to our expectation today. This is a moderately good performance in the light of the dollar strengthening and silver moving above the 50-day EMA. Now, some analysts are identifying that, technically speaking, a large wedge is forming, which traditionally would suggest a large breakout to the upside and soon. Now, whilst we acknowledge the existence of this formation and what it suggests, we are holding back a little to see whether the China trade talks potentially breaking down does prove to be the catalyst for this or not. 
With the president constantly playing brinkmanship, it's extremely difficult to predict potential outcomes. However, if nothing is settled later this week, then we could certainly see gold and silver moving higher. But if the talks go well, do not be surprised to see both gold and silver fall back to last week's lows. Though, as of today, at least we are more pessimistic about the trade talks with China than optimistic in view of today's events and announcements. What do you think? Do share your thoughts. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative, and if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. <laughs>